Hey everyone, if you're bored of running out or being over encumbered uh, on Fallout 76 in terms of maybe your stash box or your inventory, then you're in the right place. I'm going to talk about solutions for you in the ways of freeing up that space, common things that people carry that probably shouldn't be there that keeps making them become over encumbered uh, and that is very frustrating. It means you can't fast travel, it means when you're walking you're trying to find a place to drop your stuff off, then that is incredibly frustrating. So let's get through the solutions. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like and make sure you subscribe. So one of the first things that I'll always say, yes, it costs 50 atoms, but also uh, make sure you have a couple of the carry weight booster uh, drinks. That gives you an extra 50. However, to add on top of that, one of the things that you can always carry with you is grilled radstag. Yes, it goes off, but what that does is that gives you an extra 20 carry weight. So in total, you've got an extra 70 to get you out of trouble. But the main part of this video is talking how to manage and get rid of the space in your stash box and inventory. So let's talk first of all, uh, my scrap box. This is an interesting thing because of course I'm lucky to be a Fallout first and if you are then of course no problem whatsoever. But if you have a look at things like this molten plastic, I've got 4,700 of them and I'm taking out well over 200 of my space and if I actually put it in the stack weight, waste and septic 440, circuits 438, uh, cloth 316. So if you don't have fallout first and you're hoarding your materials, that's one of the first things definitely to attack because that can add up ridiculously quick. So the second tr uh, trick is when you're actually doing your script exchange at the legendary, of course, um, the big thing for me is make sure that you organize it via weight. Okay, that is one of the most important things at the start, because what people do is they either try and get rid of all their one stars or their two stars first. When they start then building up a ridiculous amount of stack in terms of the heavily weighted items. So my advice at the start is when you're trading in your stuff, make sure you organize it via weight. Now that's via the weapons and of course the armor. Attack the biggest items first, whether they're one, two or three star. Then once you start getting rid of the heavy, then you can start working on the lighter. It means that number one, you might be able to trade in more stuff. But secondly, and most importantly, means that you're actually attacking the weight in your stash box at the start. So there are certain things, but like, for example, that, um, of course, item there, one star takes up four of my stack weight. So as you can see straight away, with the stuff that I'm about to trade in, I've already freed up 110 space, which is great. And what you'll see is I've got 300 script, but once I start trading in all the heaviest stuff first then actually um, the script, I'll still have quite a bit left over, which means that I can then go and change it over even more items. But it means that I'm able to keep a lot of the stuff free. Now for me, this part is probably one of the most important for me, okay? Especially if you do a lot of daily ops quests or you do a lot of um, the events. You pick up a lot of random items that take up a lot of space. Now for me, for example, I've got a few weapons here, like golf clubs for some reason. Um, I've got a Tesla rifle and, of course, lots of grenades that were still in my stash box. So what you'll see is, again, that is dropping by about 30. Now, it's not a huge difference at the start. But again, if you're a person where you kept uh, being over encumbered, you kept going to your stash box and you kept putting things like grenades uh, or certain things in that, in that uh, box, then that means that that is going to start taking up a significant amount of weight for you. Okay, So once I went to sell all of these items, then what then also happened was that we got to the world of aid. Now, again for me, depends on how you play this game, this is what absolutely killed my space. So I had 56 stack weight in stim packs. My general rule is that I carry no more than 25. That will get me through any daily ops quest or most quest if I need it. Right away, I had 157 with a stack weight of 39. So for me, again, I got that down uh, by 125, which also, again, gave me a nice bit of caps, uh, 500 there. And then after that, it's just getting through. As you can see, it's already dropping down. Um, I got rid of anything that's diluted. So Rad Away, Radex, Stimpak, etc. Um, and then also, um, it's the 
sort of uh, chems as well. Now, again, I don't know if you're a person that plays with chems, then fantastic, use them, keep them. But for me, my character never uses it. I struggle to sell it in my actual shop, so therefore it goes straight back to the vendor. Again, bobbleheads aren't awful. Uh, they take out point one. But also here, my um, in my miscellaneous, my nuclear key cards, I've got seven of them. Uh, again, you can sell them for 100 to 200 caps to most players and then just having a look through the rest of them. So again, make sure that you're taking advantage of the vendor each day. It may take you a little while, however, it does add up. Now, the next part is hopefully there's certain items that you may want to keep. For me, I liked the items that we're currently getting, like the uh, crowd control, uh, foundations, vengeance, etc. But as you can see with foundation vengeance, that takes up to 25 of my space. So a little tip and trick that you can do. Now you have to have a friend that you trust. Just make another character that actually just stores them items. Now if you want them on show, of course, that's going to be an issue. But all you need to do is you need to have a friend that you trust. Uh, log in with your current character, drop them to that friend, and then log in with your new character. Uh, it can just be a level 1. Uh, each level gets a 1,200 space, and then take advantage of that as well. Therefore, that's going to free up even more space for you. Okay. Now, also, the ammo that you carry can have a little bit of an effect. Now, my Ultra Sight, as you can see, I've got 38,000 of them. I do go through them quite quickly because I use a 50 cal machine gun. However, um, certain random stuff that's in my inventory, I've got an ultrasight plasma core that's empty and a weight of one. So again, you can drop these. You're not going to be able to sell them. You just drop them. It gets you more extra space. But work out with your ammo. Stack it in terms of stack weight rather than just weight. Work out what you've got. Drop them if you feel you can't sell them. If not, add them to the shop. Um, most ammo will always sell if you set it at one. Um, I haven't really ever been able to successfully sell anything higher than one apart from fusion cores. So make sure that you're sorting out your ammo stack and that will free you up even more. For example, this 40 mil grenade round, never going to use it and that's taking up two space as well. And then last but not least, one of the simplest things is what perks you have. Now, again, we want to be the strongest player, of course, completely understand that. <clears throat> but what I do is I have the backup. Is that once I'm over encumbered, I swap a couple of the perks out. So for strength, it's my ban boiler, which reduces my uh, pit, uh, ammo weight by 90%. I then also add in um, things like the pack wrap, which gets rid of all my junk weight. Strong back gives me an extra 20. I can rank that up, of course, and then the traveling pharmacy as well. The one on agility, which of course is important as well, is the through hiker, and that's going to reduce my food and drink by 90%. And then I also have a backpack mod, which is the Grocer's Small Safari Colossus backpack, which reduces the food and weight by 90% anyway, naturally, but also adds 30. So as you can see there, I've nearly got myself below the over-encumbered state. So I hope you found this video really useful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. Loads and loads of Fallout 76 content coming your way. Thank you very much for watching, and enjoy the rest of the week and the rest of the weekend. Thank you very much, everyone. Bye-bye.